What up peeps? It's Gabe and I'm coming to talk a little bit about my straight hair. As many of you know, if you watch my vlogs, I decided to get my hair straightened basically because I wanted to get my ends trimmed. They hadn't been trimmed since March and I just felt like they were looking a little shabby. So I decided to go and get my hair professionally done and the term for I guess what was done is called ceramic fusion which is basically a, just a standard blowout like she uses ceramic tools to blow the hair out and then flat iron it so it's basically just your standard blowout and uh, it's been about two weeks that I've had it and I've been getting a lot of questions about how I've been able to maintain it. So I basically wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, the last time I had my hair straightened, I maintained it with pin curls. And I do have a video on that. If you've never seen it, I'll put a link down below in the description box. But uh, I wasn't really feeling it this time. Like it takes a lot of work to pin curl your hair like this. I just, I was being lazy. So I'm like, what else can I do with my hair to make it stay? So I figured I would try the pineapple method, which is weird because the pineapple method has never really worked for me. Like I would try it with my twist outs and it just, it didn't really do well. But surprisingly it worked great with my straight hair. And you know, all I did basically was pull all of my hair up, uh, like flip my hair over, pull my hair up and tie a scarf around it. And then sometimes I put like a satin bonnet over on top of it. But that was it. I get up in the morning, take the bonnet and the scarf off, comb my hair, and be good to go. And that lasted for like a week and a half. And then I was like, well, let me see if I can wrap it. So I started wrapping my hair. And surprisingly, that worked well for me also. Like my hair really looked good after it being wrapped. I was kind of iffy about it but I'm glad that I tried it because it works either way so now I've got a few different ways to maintain my hair so hopefully this helps a lot of people have been asking that but I do have to be honest and say that I have had to touch up my hair you know my hair doesn't look like this just from you know pineappling it or wrapping it at night for almost two weeks I work out every day and my ends not my ends but my roots get puffy so I've had to you know, go and touch up my roots and curl like my ends, like bump them a little bit. I've had to do that a handful of times actually since I've gotten my hair straightened and I'm just over it. Like I don't want to keep putting heat on my hair and it's just not, it's not worth it. So <laughs> I think the straight hair has pretty much come to its, the end of its days. Like I think it looks good. It's definitely grown. Um, let me kind of give you a turn around here. <clears throat> that's my that's my length but uh yeah for the most part i've enjoyed having the straight hair but i kind of miss my hair i almost feel kind of regular with straight hair isn't that weird like it's amazing that i wore my hair like this almost my whole life you know i had a relaxer until i was like in my late 20s so it's really interesting that wearing my hair like this is kind of boring to me like i miss my big hair so i'm looking forward to that a couple questions that i've been getting about my hair and let's see i'm trying to think of them now like i don't have them in front of me but i'm, I'm trying to address all the questions that i think i'll get um as far as keeping it moisturized i've just been using a little bit of argan oil or jojoba oil i'll put like maybe a dime size amount in my hand rub it together and just rub it through my hair and i've been doing that like every day i usually do it right before I go to bed and that's been keeping it moisturized. I've also gone through and kind of oiled my scalp a little bit with the oil but nothing like too heavy. Like I wouldn't recommend doing that with like olive oil or grapeseed oil because you don't want it to weigh the hair down. So I've just been using light oils to keep it moisturized and that's been working good for me. Um, heat damage. No, I'm not concerned with heat damage and that's because I don't straighten my hair very often. Like I rarely straighten my hair maybe once to twice a year since I've been natural, if that. So I always go to a professional and get it done. I think I've done it myself once and I'm just like, it's not even worth it. Like when I want to get it straightened, I'll go and have it professionally done. So if you're a natural and you're thinking about straightening your hair, I would pay a little money and have somebody professional do it, especially if it's your first time. Like, I mean, unless you've done it before and you're comfortable doing your hair, 
I would just trust a professional to do it more so than I would trust myself to straighten it. But I've done it once before. I mean, it's not hard. Oh, the flat iron that I've been using is this um, GHD. It's my trusty flat iron. It's a ceramic iron. And I think this is a one inch. This is all I've been using to like touch up my edges and kind of bump it out a little bit. And this doesn't, the temperature doesn't adjust. Like you can't adjust it manually, but the temperature adjusts automatically to the type of hair that's being ironed. I think that's it. I think that's all of the questions that I can think of that you may have. If you have more questions, of course, you can always leave them down below and I'll answer them in the comment section. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Are you interested in your clothes? Nope, not at all, Mom. Look, you want to open this? Yeah, can you open it? Say help me out there. Let me get started. You are strong. I don't think you need to change something.